Koido booth right now, and I'm talking to Kishor, how do you say your full name again? Kishor Ahuja. All right, and uh, what is it you guys do? You talked about uh, North American Lighting is the local U.S. company. What do you right, do? That's right. The Koido Group is the world's leading supplier of uh, automotive exterior lighting with 23,000 people in 12 countries. And one of our driving missions is to really reduce roadway fatalities that are caused in the night with poor visibility. Okay. So we typically drive at night with low beams, uh, which maybe doesn't light up an object or an animal or a human that creates the accidents. Right, right. I always want to put on my high beams, but I can't. But you can't because of the glare. So the whole concept here of adaptive driving beam is to provide, provide a glare-free headlight. And we do that by sensing the cars coming towards you or ahead of you and sending that signal to the headlight and turning some LEDs on or off so that you can put a shadow in front of those cars oh. and still have a full high beam. Okay, so As that's where the see, adaptive lighting comes That's exactly, in. that's the adaptive let's lighting. Move in, let's move in here a little bit. Come in okay. here a little closer so we can show. So uh, I'm gonna describe this a little bit. We've got a, 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 light, a, a, light, a lamp here that's pointing at a screen, right? And what are, what are we seeing? Yeah, that's correct. So what you're seeing here is with the camera, the car detects that car in front of you and therefore sends this message to the headlight to put that shadow. And depending on the system we are using here, put a shadow like that or a really precise shadow right around that car so that you can not glare the other driver, yet be able to see the pedestrians or animals around that car. Oh, wow, that is fantastic. And uh, now, why is he holding up a stop sign there, too? So for the stop sign, if there's a high beam, it'll glare back at you. You may not be able to really tell it's a stop sign or read what's said there. So around the stop sign, you dim the light so you can see it. At the same time, it doesn't glare you. That is really slick. So we're seeing as he's holding that stop sign out, it's got a giant square around it. That tells you that's that shadow that he's talking about, right? That's correct, yes. Adaptively creating right. that shadow with the, uh, with, the, with the light. It's a closed loop that moves around it. Wow, that that's is exactly really right. cool. Yeah, and we have a couple of different levels of this system where you can either have a big shadow and in the future state have a very, very precise shape surrounding that object. Wow. So, okay, yeah, we, uh, so Steve is suggesting, can you turn off the adaptive control to show what it would look like? I don't so know if he can turn can it you, off. Can you uh, turn that off? Yeah, so that's what it would look like. Because there's a light, yeah, when the light is shining on there, all you're seeing is behind it a shadow there. Right, right, okay. That, that's really interesting. So, uh, I, obviously, you're bringing this to the auto manufacturers, correct? Well, yes, that is true. It's actually legally approved in Europe and Japan. So, we just launched the system on this LX, uh, RX vehicle, uh, Lexus RX vehicle in Europe and Japan. However, the U.S. doesn't yet allow this technology. So, the automakers are working with NHTSA to be able to get it approved so we can get the same safety devices on the U.S. roads. I understand that's a difficult path, like they haven't approved uh, electronic uh, side view mirrors yet. That's correct. That, that it's an example it has of to be mirrors, situation. right? Yes, that's or correct. Maybe the glass mirror companies have a better lobby. I'm not sure why that is. There's probably a good reason, but yeah. I wish you the best of luck. This is very interesting. If people wanted to see anything about it, where would they go? Well, uh, they can go to booth 5220 here at CES. I'm sorry, people who are listening and watching the video, if they want to look at this, could they see it at Coito.com or? Yes, they can go to NAL.com and they can get a link to the Coito website. They can get a link to our Silicon Valley lab. Uh, and, uh, you know. See some demos. Okay, NAL.com. NAL.com. Great, thank you very much. Thank you very much.